<clears throat> okay, a couple of things I'm not trying to achieve is to be an etymology net cake. So I might reach, but uh, I'm also not trying to uh, get too deep because I just want to do science. I just want to be on science. All right. Tell me if this is not science, okay? Um, thermal dynamic aeronautics is like seed born, like your seed technology, but in, there's two technologies and you have a choice. You could choose the cup of the carpenter. You can choose the gold laden bejeweled cup that will drink your soul back out, right? Which could be self impregnation. To try to avoid that, uh, plants invented animals, but it's actually on another level ceremonial of uh, energies trying to come into balance with Ma'at. Rules that you can't vocalize them verbatim, you can't read them verbatim, but they are going to be stated, like your soul will, will, will stay, say it when it's when you're ready for that and it gets more powerful so uh we have this sub te sublime technology is sublime in mythology sublime mythology makes for grotesque history um but you get context derivative of technology from something that doesn't work. So whereas like Vermina looks like flying carousels that would be lumbersome and not achieve thermodynamic aeronautics. Uh, you, the context comes out of the etymology, like I'm not saying that this is the amazing part, but it just coincided, right? Uh, vermin, eat millet, millet is military, Birds of the aviary. The aviary is, uh, I think it's a space in old buildings where they used to practice flying around. I could be wrong. But aviary is like, you know, like jungle has a canopy and I guess like birds, the aviary is just a, their range or whatever that they're able to uh, fly around, right? Up to the level of Falcon, right? Um, so, grain seed storage modality, right? Because grain already has a modality in their symbiotic relationship. They, they were, supposed to be carried off by birds because the grain is light whereas like pitted prunes and all that stuff um it would be eaten by like other animals and moved along and by moving it even though that animal walked it moved the seed away from the source so to avoid self-impregnation that is flight that's flying And I mean, that's why like plants have pest pestles, which is like pistons if it was a gun. Tesseract is a, like a pist is like a pistol or or a, a gun <clears throat> Be because it projectile, it's loaded like a gun, right? And it's a energetic charge that the symbol is for your environment, but when it's raised. It's because it's been, uh, it, it has uh, ejected the, the seed. When it's lower, it's cocked. So then there's a reference again, cock. It's like, I'm not the first one saying this, right? Somebody was choosing technology, like, okay. 
but it has to do with what you're, what you're trying to achieve, right? Different types of flight you might try to achieve. <clears throat> For some of it, you might have to uh, or just meditate or something. I'm not, I can make this up. Uh, Again, some stories about Buddha in, are told differently. So like every culture didn't have the same Buddha. Like Buddha was in uh, America uh, and the, the uh, natives, they, uh, to use a colloquialism, there was a young man that was born on a, on a lily you know, the lily is the Western version of the lotus. It's older and it's the female pestil, pestles. The, the pestles are female. The lotus is a, uh, pestles are male. They both have a flower because they're different species, uh, subspecies, but the, 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 the comparison is an energetic level that we're in a river, like a delta also takes on the shape that it's root structure and everything. It's like, it's like a parallel, it's like a dimension term, term parallel, where there's a mythology of a woman basket put, or a woman placed in a basket. And, and the current flows uh, up, not toward the ocean, the undertow flows out to the ocean. But the top, if you place a basket, so it's like a, it became a symbol of scholarly pursuit to study all of the currents and tide pools and ebbs and flows and tributaries of, of a river before you take a risk of placing a baby to float it to a, a um, province that wasn't embattled to save it or give it a chance. And uh, you also, it's also synonymous with the pineal gland. Right? The pineal gland will never open like a blossom because it's 20 times denser than vegetation. It's just we still have a chromosome that expresses itself as a gene that acts like a plant in subtle implosion like technology from fl achieving flight through meditation i'm not trying to get laid or anything but telling you all this stuff i'm not trying to get people to holler get females to holler because i'm on that level or anything it's just science so there's another thing i'm not trying to do but because it's more it can't be about me doing that shit you know what i mean it can't be about that it's that would be spirituality pimping and fucking um the i think the most high doesn't like that i think they hate he would have to hate it to be the most high he would have to hate that more you know like like a a healthy amount of hate for that whereas like you don't know if i might fucking look the other way you don't know you can't know that until until is um, a certain point. I guess maybe <clears throat> when the crown chakra, when you can, when you can figure out, because it's like seven times seven, seven chakras, and when you turn forty seven, it's not forty nine, it's forty seven. I can't even do multiplication. Um, that is when it can be judged. Right, and you'll know if I have a bad mind or a good mind, that's you know things like that. You can't judge um somebody's heart chakra until they're twenty one because it you lose all meaning you would lose all meaning because it's paradoxical <clears throat> and you become a language of incoherent vowel. You don't have a uh, con conveyance. A conveyance.
the next level it would be to or a lot of shit like slave systems that you have to do <clears throat> to make to get the conveyance back it, it, it might be a system of moral dogma or something like that or OCD or something you know like there's some tricks or guides that if you throw corn on the ground or something, they have to pick every last corn. But why did you do that, man? No. <clears throat> That's why it's supernatural. Because that required certain like dedication on a on a god level, and this is some of the gods you have to be careful with because they're dubious in nature. Uh. They could be fabulous creatures, but scandalous, uh, um, degenerates. Do you know what I mean? The in, in Air's Rock, the mythos of, behind Air's Rock talks all about the gods that existed before the term God even existed. There's no concept of God before 6,000 years ago. And uh, it's not because, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, people need this because they were doing bad. They already had examples of gods that were doing bad that you were not supposed to fuck with. <laughs> they, they were fucking lizard people, dude. They lived in Air's Rock. And they just, you just have to look in the mytho, mythos. <clears throat> and so I think and Anunnaki uh, are attracted to, to Air's Rock, too. We sitting up on top of there, shit. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, conspiracy theories.